Hi everyone. Jonathan and I put our heads together the other day and we wanted to offer you another opportunity um, here in the middle of the week to hear from us and have a little bit of quiet and peace, hopefully, from all of the noise and anxiety that we are surrounded by in these days. So here we are. Um, welcome to this moment from us at Carnegie Moravian Church. Um, we hope you can settle in and find a peaceful moment in the midst of this day. Psalm 139, verses 1 through 18. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes behold my unformed substance. In your book were written all the days that were formed for me when none of them as yet existed. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end. I am still with you. Psalm 139 is one of my favorite passages of scripture. Always has been for as long as I can remember. And it's been a wonderful companion in the midst of times when, well, there's so much to pay attention to. And it's all so overwhelming. And Psalm 139 reminds us we're not alone. 
We're not walking through this by ourselves, no matter what's happening in the midst of what's going on right now. Well, we're reminded that we're surrounded by God and that God is right there as close as our nearest breath and big enough to hold all of the fear and anxiety that we may be feeling in this time. We don't know what's coming and there is some peace in that perhaps, but there's also a lot of baggage, a lot of wondering what the next day will bring, what new thing that we're going to be transitioning toward in the midst of all of this. But we're reminded that, well, it will be okay. God will hold us up. We can't go farther enough away to really be absent from God's presence. We're invited to open the door, as I've been inviting us to do throughout the Lenten season already. Open the door to the ways that our current way of being gives us gifts. Gives us gifts of different kinds of time, different kinds of pacing. Let's us just be in the moment. And sometimes we need a reminder of that to just settle in and be. So one of the resources that you've received if you got this message by email is a prayer from some resources that the Illustrated Ministry team has put together. And I wanna invite us into that prayer before we close in song once again. Um, and invite us to enter into some of these resources that I've been sharing with you and I will continue to share with you in coming days. If you'd like to get one of those emails so that you can receive some of the materials that we're sending out to accompany um, these little worship pieces or would like to get some of the other ideas and places to plug in in this time, well, Go to our website and there is an email subscription form down at the bottom and we will be sending out those messages accompanying um, these little chats and visits and worship pieces um, during this time. Let us pray together. Into your spacious heart, dear God, and your loving arms that enfold us, we place our fears, our what ifs, all of our spinning world and minds comfort us with the truth that no fear is too big for you, the great one who is always with us. We are never alone. Calming God, bring courage, tender spirit, breathe peace. Gentle Jesus, be close. Amen.